Hi, I was just cleaning up this Amiga 600 keyboard when I thought why not record it so you can see how it's done. So uh, you, first of all obviously you need to get the keyboard out. Uh, I'll show you how to do that with this one here. So turn the machine over and you've got to remove screws here, here, here and here and then turn it back up the right way and just lift uh, the front of the machine and you'll need to pull a cable out here flip the flip the top cover back and you just notice down in here there's a little keyboard connector white keyboard connector and uh, the best way to get that up is just if you can get your finger into it just pull the outer Get your fingernail under it maybe or even just a screwdriver if you can't get in there it's a bit awkward just get a screwdriver maybe at this end here and pull the cable out there and that comes away and then all you have to do is uh, release these two lugs here and the keyboard will just pop out just making sure to be careful of this cable here it comes through the hole there and that's that's the keyboard out okay uh, normally what I do when I'm cleaning these up I'm, I do the top case as well so I'll take uh, just unscrew one screw there on the little circuit board that mounts the LEDs take that off because you don't want them getting wet because I fully submerged this I just use uh, dishwashing liquid um, and hot just hot soapy water basically give that a good clean up and a scrub here's the other one that I'll be doing that's looking a bit dirty and a little bit discoloured it's got a little bit of sticky something sticky on there so I'll give that a good wash up so the keyboard is I've already made a start just a matter of by the way I've got this little uh, key pulling tool that came with a mechanical keyboard that I bought quite handy for this job so what I do is just um, put the key puller down over one of the keys and give it a pull straight up remove the key and just take note there's a spring a little spring under the each key so I just go along some of them are quite tight you you can do this with your fingers but it's quite hard and uh, there's a risk if you squeeze hard on the key of actually cracking the side of the key I've, I've done that once and uh, I've, I've found that uh, this tool sorts that problem out completely so just work my way to the space bar here, which is a bit of a special case. So just carefully pull it up in the middle. You can see this is quite dusty, this keyboard. And you'll notice that there's a, um, a metal bar along here. And also there's one on the uh, shift, left shift key and a couple of bars on the... Um, enter key there as well so I just pull those pull those out put them aside because I don't want those getting wet and um, yes yeah, so I just make them all and something like that and fill that with hot soapy water give each one a scrub or um, a quicker easier way is just to put those into a um, it's a lingerie bag for your washing machine uh, so it's like a gauze type uh, fabric bag and just put put the whole lot in the uh, in the lingerie bag, and I just put it into the washing machine on the short 15 minute cycle with a bit of soap. Cleans them up quite well. And then uh, this here, I just give a give that a blowout with my air compressor, and then just clean along with um, uh, just a very just a damp rag. You don't want it too wet, obviously. If, uh, you don't want moisture getting down into the. Uh, into the keys there 
Uh, and you can see the space bar's got three springs. Now the springs are different, slightly different. So the two outer springs here are a finer, softer spring than the larger central one. And the larger central one is uh, the same as the other keys. So you can differentiate them. So yeah, uh, put those aside. So uh, come back when it's all cleaned up. Oh, you can, by the way, you can take the um, all the screws out of the back here and remove this plastic top cover and these these uh, posts here uh, go down onto onto the membrane there. So I, I don't need to do that with this one. It's looking pretty good. Although there's a little little bit of bits of rust, surface rust on the front there, but that's nothing major. So, yeah, not looking too bad. The keyboard works fine. Just thought I'd give it a bit of a clean up. So I'll get this um, washed up and then uh, show you how to put it all back together. Right, so the, uh, I've cleaned the keyboard up there and I've got clean keys. Relatively, well, it's a clean case, uh, case lid. Look, slight yellowing, not too bad. So that's all ready to, to go there. Uh, now, one thing I must mention is that make sure you, if you don't have another computer uh, as a reference, uh, take a photo of the keyboard before you uh, start this process. Or I guess you could Google it and um, find an image online just so that you get the keys back in the right place. Okay, that's the um, tab key. And you'll see there's a couple of wee clips there that the the bar actually clips into there and then once that's clipped on you can uh, position the key over to come so the bar slides in under these two uh, little plastic lugs either side here clip that on like so so it's going to go under here and then get the spring on it's actually probably easier to Put the spring on first. And like so. Line it up. Just trying to find the there it goes. That one's a bit easier than uh the enter key here. It's actually there's actually two positions for the enter key. For, there's two little bars, so one one bar fits in here and another bar fits over here. So you've got to sort of jiggle it in there. It's a little bit more difficult than that last one, but um, yep. So, uh, working my way across here. There we go with the enter key. There's Clip the little bars on here. Like so. That's got it. So that's probably the hardest one to do. Alright, oh, space bar here. Just put, putting the two lighter springs on the outside of the main spring there, and then the little post is in the middle here for this one to connect here. So I just put the bar under there, and that's it. So that's all ready to. Uh, install back into the top cover there uh, but before I put the keyboard in there I'll put the uh, little LED pack back in there Just one screw So 
so that the uh, bottom end of the keyboard she slots under this piece along here so that's the bit that's closest to you when you're sitting at the computer and then just under these two little locators here and here and then it's ready to um, put back onto the computer itself so now it's ready to attach back onto the computer itself you notice the um, floppy drives missing from this machine uh, I don't quite have enough floppy drives for the computers that I've got I'll probably end up buying one so first of all make sure that the ribbon keeper is sitting up there and then just install the keyboard ribbon and then push down the keeper like that and then don't forget to plug in this here for your LEDs into this connector here and that's it looking a lot better than what it was that's for sure the keyboard's keys are a little bit yellowed not too bad though let's just locate the little clips at the back there and then turn your machine over and just install the screws back in there that's it nice and clean thanks for watching